answer the damn question that I've asked you. Yeah. I've asked you, I'm not asking you about Steve Cohen. I'm not talking to you about the representative that we have right now. Because you are talking to me about the fact that you're running for the 9th Congressional District and you're the person that wants to take a position. So don't tell me about Steve Cohen. Tell me what have you done in those very same areas. That's all it asks. Don't take me to Milton. Don't take me to Cardoza. Tell me what have you done in the very heart of the 9th Congressional District. I ask you what particular company, since you said that you helped bring jobs to Memphis, I want to know what company. Give me a specific company that you helped bring uh, jobs to, this, to, to the area in. That's what I ask you. Give me specifics. There were some small businesses that were created around the Memphis area. What's the name? Give me the name of one. You support Barack Obama. You know what? The the Republicans. That, that, see, the see, that's Republicans, a, see, how come you can't give me a damn simple answer? The Republicans. You, so, ma'am, ma'am, I'm going to cut your damn mic off because, <laughs> damn it, you don't know how to answer a direct question. Okay? Damn, don't be as stupid as I think you are. Okay? Now, I'm asking you again. Do you support Barack Obama? That's a yes or no. The Republicans do not want Okay, now, ma'am, I'm asking you a damn direct question. If you can't ask a direct question, I'm going to put your ass up out of here. I ask you a direct question. Do you, as a black woman, support Barack Obama? Let me just share with you this. I support a person. I respect him, but I do not support his policies. So, his who, policies so, who have policies, so whose policies do you support? You support Newt Gingrich? No. So if he, if he is the Republican nominee, as many Republicans think that he may be, will you be supporting him as a Republican? I don't know who the nominee is, but I will tell you again, the Republicans think I'm a loose cannon because they can't control well, the, me. The, the, because the, I have the interest of the 9th Congressional no, District. No, you don't. Well, you, you, ain't, you ain't told me a damn thing you did in the 9th Congressional District. You ain't told me nothing you did. You want to tell me about Cardoza? You want to tell That's me about... That's part of the 9th District. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, I'm so sick of your, your, your stuff. Okay, and I'm about to put your ass up out of here. That's okay. okay. Okay, I know it is. Because you are, look, let me tell you something. You are a token Negro that white folk have control over. You have not answered a question direct yet. I don't give a damn about your mama, your sisters, and all of those people that have lived and you grew up with. I asked you about the concerns of the 9th Congressional District. You're using words like security. When I white knock on doors, when I knock on doors, and I talk to people, they are concerned about being broken into. They are concerned about not being able to walk the streets. They are concerned about the so students you, coming back are, and forth. What are you going to do as a congressperson that is going to change that? What can you as a congressperson do to change that? I will vote for legislation that is going to help the city, the, the municipalities, oh, to be able to do what they need to do in order so to So what do they food. need to do? What do they need to do, Ms. Bergman? Well, first of all, they need more policemen in order to provide more security. So, 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 so you think that the problem, the crime problem in, in, in Memphis is throwing no money at it? Are you that stupid? Are you stupid enough to sit here in this studio and tell me when I look at all of the killing in the black community that we're going to throw some more damn federal dollars at it and it's going to go away? We need some more police. Do you really think that that is that's the solution to the intercity uh, crime problem? I will tell you what, sir. There are people in the 9th Congressional District that I agree with that feel that that is a solution. You, are, you, you, you crazy as hell. See, you, you, you want to throw money at a problem that is a people problem. It is a cultural problem until we change the mindset of people. Here you are, another one of them stupid ass Republicans that want to throw some money at the issue. Let's go and pass a bill. Let's put, put some more police. I don't care how many police officers you have in the streets until we have some type of program that deals with the consciousness of people and the decision that people make that they're not going to rob and kill in the black community, then that's the only thing we're going to do. You are another bourgeoisie Negro, uh, a token Negro that the white folk are told, put Martin Luther King's picture up there. Do you know that we don't give a damn about Martin Luther King's picture being up there with you? Well, unfortunately, there are people that I meet that do care very much, and so we have a failure to communicate, so I'm going to end this <laughs> well, conversation. Well, okay, get, get up and get
get your ass up out of here. Get your stupid ignorant ass up out of my studio. Another token ass Negro that wants white folks to, to approve you. Take your stupid ass on out my damn building because I'm, I'm tired of you, you, you Negroes that's being bought by white folks that want to walk up in there. I, I don't need to shake your hand. Get your ass hell up, up out of my building. Get on out of my building. I, I, I'm scared because some of that whiteness might rub off on me. Get your ass up out of here. Uh, you don't need to stop and talk. Take your ass out the door. Don't give me a song and dance when you come up in here. Did not answer one question directly. Not one. Have no plan for the inner city. Not even dealing with black folk. So now you want to pass some legislation. You think that the problem in the black community is, is all about, damn, throwing some more money. And whoever you are, 273-5902, you can kiss my ass. I put her ass up out of here because I don't deal with BS from politicians. I'm sick of the political BS. And that's all I got. Didn't ask one question. Her ass hasn't been in the black community. I got the documentation here that shows that every dollar that she got when she ran the last time was from white folk. Ain't no black names on the on this. I pulled her, her record from the Federal Election Commission. All of these bourgeois D uh Negroes, Donovan and all of that group. Why would they pitch a Negro like that? Because she's a Negro that with her process ass hair, with her curly hair, that ain't natural. Uh, that permy, permy ass hair that she got on her head. We can speak it to this Negro, and you another Negro that we can make do what we want to do. And no, I ain't. I don't have to be nice to that mess. I, I, I pull information on this Operation Black Storm. They named it Operation Black Storm, restructuring, uh, rebuilding America. There is a movement by bigots and the Tea Party to take back over this country again. Damn white folk, you want to tell me about the Constitution. The Constitution of the United States at the time didn't have a damn thing to do with black folk. Not a damn thing to do with black folk. That same Constitution that you're fighting for white folk says that your ass, even with your curly hair out of a damn jaw, that your ass was property. You was chattel. So you don't, don't don't come up in my studio with that song and dance. You are a Negro that's bought and paid for uh, the proof. Go to Operation, I, and I want y'all to look it up. Read it yourselves. Operation Black Storm. Okay, not Operation Storm, not Operation uh, White Storm, but Operation Black Storm, which is paid for by uh, the Patriot. Act, a political action committee, a division of the Tea Party, and she's a part of their black division. She's a part of the division that white folk in the Tea Party said, we're going to get us a nigga, we're going to get us a curly-haired nigga who we can program. She don't have to do nothing for black folk. We're going to take her ass, program her like the good slave to her ass, her ass is, and make her go out there and deceive some black folk. She can kiss my ass. Get to know that what Paul Green was in. Same president. Same president.